Hello fellow space travelers. Um, in this video I'm going to show you my Asp Explorer. Um, I've just set it up and it's good to go. Uh, I've done quite a bit of research on it uh, and as you can see on the bottom of the screen there uh, the jump range on this is pretty much double maybe treble of the jump range that I had on my Anaconda uh, and the reason I've chose this ship is because I'm, I'm going to be doing fairly long distance um, traveling to start gathering my gathering my engineering materials um, so I just wanted to show you um, what the setup was and if you think I could uh, improve it uh, let me know but um, from the guides I've read this this looks pretty cool um, hard points to start with on the outfit there's no hard points on there because it just adds weight and the less weight we have the further it can travel utility mounts again there's none on there uh, core internals that lightweight alloy comes with the ship so that's pretty good um, I've gone for a 5A power plant you could get a 2A or 3A power plant which is lighter and lets you go a little bit further but then you have to sort of turn modules off and on all the time and that's probably good if you really wanted to maximize what you could travel but for me for the sake of a couple of light years I'm, I'd rather just have all the power I need all the time uh, I've gone with 4D thrusters because they're light I've gone for the best frame shift drive which is the 5A uh, 4E life support I want to switch that to a 4D but they don't have any for sale in this system um, and again it's only like half a light year difference I've gone with a lighter 2A power distributor which is great for what I need 5D sensors and the 5C fuel tank came with the ship so that's perfectly fine as well uh, so that's core internals done I'll just scroll up to the top again in the bottom there so you can have a look next then is the optional internals I'll start at the top I went for the 6A fuel scoop because then I can just scoop up quickly um, and it it goes really quick it cost quite a bit of money that um, I think it was about five million but it's it's totally worth it you don't have to worry about fuel um, I've gone for um, a field maintenance unit just in case I take some damage um, maybe messing about on a planet or uh, some heat damage or something like that then I can sort that out which is pretty good I don't want to get lost in space um, I've gone with a light 3d shield generator um, which is obviously increasing my uh, distance I can travel. I've put a couple of cargo racks on there. They don't take any power, um, and when they're full, obviously, they're going to take uh, a lot of mass, but I just thought if I'm going to go out exploring and stuff and, and gathering engineering materials, I just wanted to make sure I've got space um, in the ship in case I see something that I'll need to actually take back to a station. Um, I've gone with the advanced docking computer because I just like it you don't need to have that on there but it's just easier to get back to the station and just turn everything off and chill out and let it let it dock up for you it also saves time as well on some stations that are where you can't find the bloody pad you're supposed to go to um, planetary vehicle hangar it's good to have this because I do know that some engineering materials you pick up from planets you like you harvest them in your SRV so that's always handy and then I've gone for the detail surface scanner as well um, just to see what's going on everywhere I go and planetary approach suite obviously stay on and that's it that's everything on this Asp Explorer um, and it pulls out 31.54 32.83 and then 35.44 light years and it's got the 6a fuel scoop as well um, I'm happy with it uh, the best thing I've found with the with the Aspect Explorer is the view, the cockpit view, compared to the Anaconda, which is, you don't really get much view, but look at this. I can see down there, all around there, right up there. It's a great view um, when you're out in space. In fact, let's head out and I'll, and I'll show you. It just looks amazing. I'm really happy with it. It's the first time I've, I've had an Aspect Explorer. I've seen lots of um, comments and videos where people always are using the Asp Explorer for, well, exploration, hence the name Asp Explorer. Uh, but I didn't realize the cockpit was gonna be so good. Detach confirmed, 
Look at that. That's great. You can just see everything around you. Look how far back I can see there. See right back there. Right up here. It's just and down as well. That's brilliant, is that? Proper cool. So yeah, the Asp Explorer. Um, I'm going to do some travelling now. Um, and I reckon it'll be a third of the time it took me in the Anaconda. So yeah, there you go. Um, if you like the video, if this was helpful and you're going to use this fitting, or if you're fitting it as we speak, then please, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, it's very helpful to me. And also hit the thumbs up as well. Um, and hey... Uh, have a great day and thanks for watching.